Hello and welcome Aries. This is your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share widely because it helps us to grow the channel. Now, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Obviously, um, you don't have to. But this is a free service and so, you know, I thought if anyone wants to buy me a coffee for my work, I would certainly ex uh, appreciate it. In any case, Aries, are you ready? What we do here, we will divide the reading into three sections so it is easier for you to understand and, you know, also a bit easier for me to read it, if that makes sense. So what, this, what will happen is we're going to um, look into the overall energy for the month of September for the sign of Aries, before we then go into your emotional core. Emotional core means um, if there's any healing that needs to happen, any emotional stuff that needs to go or can go, or whether or not there's love coming, coming in. So we will uh, look at this before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now, with no further ado, let's have a look. And with regards to the overall energy, they're asking you to balance your spiritual outlook, outlook with, your, with your practical outlook. How this works is obviously this. You know, we have um, two brain halves. You know, left-hand side is all about um, your spiritual core and your spirituality, seeing things, feeling things, uh, uh, addressing things from your gut feeling, which never lies to you. And then the right-hand side is about this more analytical side to you. And oftentimes they can be out of think, especially in Aries because you are the very first sign of the zodiac wheel, which means asking for help is not necessarily a strength of yours because you are the energy or the sign of the doer. Therefore, anything analytical can overpower um, the spiritual side, and sometimes quite a bit. What the guides are asking you in September 22, dear Aries, is to pay attention how much or how one-sided you look at the world, which means if there is anything coming that you would normally deeply analyze, you know, detach yourself a little, always, and also see it from a different and, and spiritual point of view, right? What do I gain from this, right? What does my soul tell me without me being getting bogged down, that kind of stuff? So be practical about it, but also be in balance, which is interesting because September is the month where we're moving from Virgo to Libra, and Libra is the seventh house, seventh sign, <clears throat> and the sign of balance. So towards the end of the month, the natural feeling of wanting balance is even higher. So that can help you uh, as well in uh, your balancing act that you have been asked to actually do this month. Okay, now let's move on to your emotional core. Let's see what we got with regards to love and the likes or, or whatever it is. Good. You have a new start is coming. I don't know if you can see this. A new start is coming. What that means is, so what I'm getting is that this is just the way I'm getting this. Remember, these are, these are general readings. If they, if they resonate with you, I'm really happy that they do. But I'm getting something more um, specific, if that makes sense. So what I'm getting is that is for people here that sort of have been, that's probably the wrong term, under the weather emotionally for quite some time, who feel like mm, maybe the trust issues, that kind of stuff. So things that are very difficult or have been difficult to shift. When the guides are saying the new start is coming, to me, they're not showing me that there is a new relationship blossoming. blossoming. That doesn't mean it won't, it won't happen. But the main energy here is for you to realize that September is likely going to be a month where Anything that has become stale inside you, that doesn't allow you to move forward with, uh, uh, emotionally, that doesn't allow you to heal from old stuff, has a much better chance to be released. Now, if you are a person that finds it difficult to um, do release work by yourself, there are plenty of ways uh, um, to, to do this. Um, there's loads of treatments out there that people offer, um, you know, from past life regression to, to soul retrieval, um, Reiki, sound healing, all these, all these healing modalities are um, a good way of allowing yourself to trigger uh, an emotional release of stuff that is otherwise difficult to, um, to shift. So there are ways uh, out there um, to help with, with things 
it's just because you're Aries, which means that your, your imprint is that you don't really ask for help a lot, or at least not easily. So they ask you to push yourself um, there because it is time that you became the best version of yourself and the happiest version of yourself. And therefore, whatever can go now, um, you know, makes sense to push that out. Okay, lastly, let's have a look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now, oh, a card already fell out. <laughs> Interesting. When cards fell out, they really want to say it. Um, what they're asking with regards to, to opportunities, unless you're confident, nothing will work for you. So don't ask for for opportunities and then when they come to you oh, i'm not sure i can do this right so this is sort of the thing that i'm getting um and also what i'm getting is they're doing my guides are doing this which means like wipe the 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 the, the slate clean it's a bit of a term the point i'm making is maybe don't continue what 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 you know and think that's the only thing you you can do right allow yourself to be more a bit more flexible and don't make it about age which is another important thing that, that i'm getting here do not make it about H, right? Just allow yourself to, to confidently, which is the important message here for your opportunities, be confident that whatever you look at, whatever comes your way, is for you, if that makes sense, right? So confidence is really, really super important in uh, the months of September. Which is also interesting because September is the ninth month and nine is the number of completion. So learning, yes, I can do this, saying I can do this, makes it quicker to actually achieve stuff, right? Okie dokie, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much. See you hopefully next month. And if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe and share widely. Thank you.